What's up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Angie Monique. As you can tell by the title, we are playing in some new makeup products today. Not new to y'all, but new to me. Okay? So I finally tried the Fenty Skin Tint. Yep, I know. Real late to the party. I had it. Just I use it. Um, but yeah, I used it today. I also use the Dose of Colors collaboration with Makeup Shayla in today's video. So if you want to know all the products that I tried out today and how they apply on me, then let's go. So I have quite a bit of makeup that I have not used. Um, one being this Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. Y'all, I have had this in the box, as you can see. Have not opened it, haven't done anything in a minute, okay? I know this is not new, but it's new to me, so we're going to try it today. Um, I also have some other new products. I have the Shayla and Dose of Colors collab, so we're going to play with it today. So I have quite a bit of new makeup. Like I said, I have not touched it all, so let's just create something let's plan some makeup today as we always do so i do have a new concealer that i want to start trying out to clean up my eyebrows i'm not going to open it just yet because i do still have some of my uh laura mercier secret concealer left i have not seen this on sephora's website so i don't know if they discontinued this but this has been the only concealer that i have used to clean my brows for years and I wanted to get something else just in case that they did discontinue this product and what I did pick up this is not new but again it's new to me this is the NARS soft matte complete concealer and I got mine in the shade medium dark three in the shade um it's called Amande or Amand which, whichever one you prefer to pronounce it is but I got this um, so just in case, like I said, just in case they did discontinue this product because I have not seen it on Sephora, I got a bag up of this. So this is what I will use next time or whenever I run out of this concealer to start cleaning up my brows. But since I got some of this left, we're going to roll with this. And I just take a little bit. This is a Morphe flat brush. I want to say this came in a set, but this is the only brush that I use to clean up my brows. And I do the top and the bottom. And I know some people don't do that, but you know, whatever floats your boat. I like this concealer because it does not give you that highlighted effect over your brow. It's super close to my skin tone so it's okay for me to use this on the top and at the bottom uh, but yeah and that is how we do the brows that's how I do my brows at the end I do put some brow gel over them but right now we're just going to continue on with the face um since i am going to be using like i said this is the fancy beauty ease drop blurring skin tint never open this i got mine in the shade 20 this is what it looks like y'all already know i've heard nothing but great things about this uh skin tint skin tints um at one point were that girl like if you didn't have skin tint or you weren't talking about a skin tint or didn't own skin tint you want that girl and a lot of the ones that i have tried have been really really good um but i ain't tried this one so we gonna see today i am going to use my fenty beauty true matte pro filter primer even though we using a skin tint. I'm still an oily girl, so I do like to prime with a matte primer where I get oily the most. And of course, I had already like did my skincare, like my SPF moisturizer. All it, all it was already done. 
um so let's try this out um do i have a new concealer i mean mm -mm, we ain't gonna do that i was gonna say i could use this for my under eye but nah okay so squeeze to i'm real nervous about these so i guess i'm just gonna go in with it on my face like this And this may be hella too much, but we don't see what it's working with, y'all. Mm -mm. Okay. I probably should have. not too much coverage like i guess it just balances out the skin which can be you know nice i am let me see how i like it with okay let me see how i like it with blending it out with my sponge i'm just gonna go in with a little bit more girl And let's try to blend it out with with my sponge. Okay, right out the back, I think I like the the way it looks better blended with a sponge rather than a brush, just because it is so it is so thin and lightweight that I feel like the brush soaks up the product, but it still gives you that skin like finish. It's very, very lightweight. Like, I don't feel like I have anything on my face at all. So, that lets me know that this is really, really nice. Um, Probably going to be really good for the um, for the fall and winter months that we are going into. Just because it is super lightweight. Um, again, it's not super matte. It gives you a natural, hydrated look. Which, I like that. Um, so, not too bad. Not too bad. This is not a bad product at all. How well is it going to last throughout the day? I have no clue. But <laughs> so far, like first impression, I like that. It's a good product. So since I don't have a new concealer and this is so lightweight, I'm just going to go in with my tried and true, my e.l.f. 16-hour uh, camo concealer. Love, love, love this concealer. This is one of the best, best drugstore affordable concealers on the market like i love this concealer and i'm scraping but i got another one i got a bag up all righty we are going to go in and blend this out And I don't have a new uh, setting powder either. Still have my Laura Mercier translucent honey. Yeah, it's okay for that one. I have to just break out the new one. Break out the new one, honey. Okay. So I do have this e.l.f. putty bronzer in bronze bell. Um, Y'all know cream bronzers have been, cream bronzers and cream blushes, I should say, have been doing their thing in the makeup um, community. So this is what she looks like. And then I also have the 
e.l.f. putty blush in Bali. And this is what she looks like. Super, super cute. Yes. So let's go in with our bronzer. Nothing. Yeah, I see it. I see a little bit. I see a little bit. Not a whole lot. It's not as deep as I want it to be, but it'll work. I'm gonna go over it with my powder bronzer anyway. I could have went a shade darker in this bronzer. But I'm going to put my forehead at too. Alright, let me set my concealer underneath my eye. I probably should have put it on my blush first huh I have to go out you know what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna uh I'm just gonna set my face I'm not gonna use the uh putty blush today because I probably should have did it before I set it then with Oh, this is my Sephora Micro Smooth Bake Powder. Love this. All right, T. I had to break out my Julius Place bronzer. You know what? Nope. I got a new bronzer. This is the bronze show by morphe velvet matte press powder in the shade coco whoa okay i don't know i almost thought they were gonna say coco naughty like uh fancy but no it's called coco whoa and whoa this is dark this is dark okay let's try this out though Taking my good what we think. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I like to OD on my bronzer, but this is dark. This is real dark. Did I make that worse? Take my brush and blend this out, honey. So we ain't looking cry cry. Okay, not bad. A little bit goes a long way. Literally. Okay, let's do an eye look. I told y'all I have the Makeup by Shayla and Dose of Colors collaboration. This is her. Y'all know she got married. What, last year, year before last? 
Um, and she did a Let's Live Happily Ever After collab with Dose of Colors. I always wanted to try some of Dose of Colors lip kits uh, or lip products as well as some of their other products but I've never had to so when I saw that she was doing a collaboration I was super duper excited of course I wanted to support because she's a woman of color and I get to play in some Dose of Colors products that I've never tried before so she has the icing on the cake lip trio which comes with this is what it looks like so it comes with a lip pencil y'all know we can never have too many of those as a brown girl okay it comes with a lip gloss so the lip pencil is in the shade she's ready the lip gloss is glass slipper and the liquid lipstick is called final touch so those are the lip products that we're going to play in today she has a happily ever after blush and glow face palette so this has a blush and a highlighter so super super cute if you've watched my uh, last video the Sephora collection video um, I used a super duper bright pink similar to this it's called hey jealousy by Sephora so we gonna try this out today and she has an eyeshadow palette this is called the wifey eyeshadow palette now one of these shades did break break it broke it came broken um but it is an eight pan eyeshadow palette and one of these shimmers came broken so this one right here on the end where my this one that's broke but so super duper nice neutral palettes can't go wrong with these shades so i'm going to just create something really really fast i'm probably going to speed through this because i'm not really into eyeshadow like this so it's going to be a real simple look so let's get into it <laughs> And if this color right here, because this is the color that I'm using right now, if it's looking like that, I'm afraid to see what this brown and this black gonna do. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. <laughs> For real. Because, hunty, this can scare the shit out of me to even use any of the darker shades. that let's put on some blush <laughs> that's cute that's cute remind me of the yeah, reminds me of the um the sephora blush which is nice, you know. All right. I'm going to take my fancy eyeliner. I'm going to spray my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I love the formula of this lip liner, y'all. This is a good brown to have in your collection. Yeah, I love this. I love this brown. Okay. Let me do the
I'm surely gonna give you a highlighter. Like she's going to give you a highlighter. If nothing else, she's gonna give you a highlighter. And it's cute. Okay, this is the liquid lipstick in the shade Final Touch. All right, my love. So this is the final look. What are we thinking? I'm loving it. Um, everything that I tried new on my face today, I love. Um, the makeup Shayla and Dose of Colors collaboration is not too bad. Um, again, I did a simple eye look. I only used two of the shades in the eyeshadow palette, but I'm not big on eyeshadow anyway. I really want to get her full collection though to support her. Um, but the palette is a very nice neutral palette, an everyday palette. So I love, love, love that about that. Um, the blush and highlighter, I'm going to be using a lot and the lip trio all the time. Like this lip liner, this lip gloss, this liquid lipstick and this lip gloss, like this combo is amazing. Like she is the like she never misses with her nude combo so if you're looking for someone to try to recreate a nude lip for a brown skin girl go to makeup shayla's page because she hardly misses like i love her products these are really really nice so won't be the last time that i use these especially this lip liner like y'all know how i feel about lip liner um and bronzer this bronzer by morphe um it is very matte it is very pigmented but it got the job done i do feel like um it is like a little bit goes a long way this is a super duper dark like bronzer for me so a light hand but it looks good i'm not mad at it i'm not mad at it at all the putty bronzer um i didn't use the blush but i did show y'all the blush i just didn't use that today uh, but the bronzer, I do feel like I can go a shade darker in this. Uh, this kind of just blended in. Oh, weird. This kind of just blended in, but it still got the job done. Don't get me wrong. Um, Elf is a really, really good affordable brand. If you are a beginner in makeup and want to try out some stuff without paying high end prices, check out Elf. Um, but this is a good, this is a good uh, cream bronzer. I just feel like the shade, I could go a little darker with this one. Um, what else did I try? Um, the skin tint. It looks like I have nothing on my face. Like, it's balancing everything out. Don't get me wrong. Like, y'all know I got makeup on my face, but it doesn't feel like I have makeup on my face. This is really, really nice. Again, I want to see how this works. Um, again, we are getting into the colder month, so I definitely feel like this is going to be the time that I use this the most. I don't feel like I would use this a lot in the summertime simply because, yes, it is like weight. However, I'm oily skin tint and oil i don't know how this is going to work in the summertime with my natural oils you know coming through so i'll check back in with that if i still had this product by next summer but yeah i'll check back in with it during that time but like i said first impression i think this is going to be really good for the fall and winter months so yeah love 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 it um is that it i think this is I think that is it y'all so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe and share and as always I'll see you guys in the next one bye